This week on Cards and Things Restos, we get the bonnet sorted and we head off to the dino. Guys, we're here at the uh, Holden Bottle Wharf. Uh, welcome back to Cars and Things Restos. Well, today's the day. We've got her on the trailer, we're heading to Barry. we're going to stick it on the dyno. Hopefully, everything goes to plan. Righty, up here this morning. Prepping the underside of the bonnet, as you saw, I put a couple of coats of uh, high build on it. I've rubbed all that back with 400. That's all rubbed back now. Uh, I'm going to give it a coat of um, sealer now. At the same time, I'm going to seal this as well. I might have to put a little bit of plastic coating on that to add a bit of adhesion. So I'll do the bonnet, then I'll add a bit of plastic adhesion for that mirror. Um, I'm do, doing another mirror because the one I put in, all of this part here was all broken. So I just thought I'd uh, paint another one up while I'm going. So that's ready to go for some sealer. I'll give that a, a, a good coat of sealer. Then we'll get some colour on it and a few coats of clear. Probably two coats of clear on the underside of the bonnet. It'll be fine and let that dry off and we can flip it over and start prepping the other side for paint. Righto, we'll get stuck into it. Righty, let's have a quick look. So I've got three coats of clear on it. Because uh, I only was going to do two, but I had enough in the gun to do three. So uh, it's come up pretty nice. Pretty happy with it. So that'll do for the underside of it. Uh, which you, you will probably see a bit if I've got the bonnet up all the time. So I tried to get it as flat as I could. Uh, as smooth as I could. It's come up pretty nice. There's not a lot of peel in it. Because I don't really want to have to polish the underside. There's a little bit of speck in it, but it, it, you probably won't notice it, it's okay. Now I did um, paint this as well. Um, a few people said, yeah, paint it the same colour as the car, that's the cover that goes over the radiator. So I've done that as well, we'll see what that comes up like, and I've done another mirror. Alrighty. Alright, we'll leave that to harden up. What we got in here? It's uh, 30 degrees in here at the moment. Pretty warm outside. Uh, we'll let that uh, go off tonight, and then I'll be able to uh, untape all the other side of it, and uh, then I've got to rub the other side back with 600, and tape all this up, and hit it on the other side. Let's see how we go. Alrighty, guys. Just give the uh, top paint and clear coat. Um, so I've got four coats of clear on the bonnet. Uh, pretty heavy coat, especially the last few, so it's pretty thick. Uh, also I tried something new. Um, that one of the uh, I went to a trade night the other night uh, at Darcy, Darby's Paints and there's a technical lady there and I was talking to her about it. A little bit of shit in it. It's, should be able to polish that out though. Uh, anyway, back to the story. Um, I was said to her about uh, orange peel um, I get a little bit of orange peel in it, I'm no pro, um, and she said uh, about doing a sort of a, every time I do a coat, lay me clear down and then come back, uh, not before it's fully dried, give it you know five minutes and then do a, like a, uh, a drop coat that you would do with the, with the paint and she said do a, a drop coat and you'll find that that will fill in the little imperfections from orange peel so i've tried this uh it looks pretty good doesn't look like there's a lot in it so if that's done it we'll see when it dries out when it all the uh all of the uh reducer evaporates out of it we'll see what it looks like but it looks all right at the minute pretty happy with it um, apart from there's a couple of little bits of shite in it. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see them. There's one there, one there, but they'll polish out. Because we're going to polish it anyway. So, pretty happy. So I'm just heating the booth up now. 
now finished. That was done about 15 minutes ago. We've got 33 degrees in here. So I'll see if we can get it up to about 39, 40 degrees and then I'll leave the heaters going for the rest of the day, turn it off and let it bake. And see what it looks like tomorrow. Righto. Rightio. Here we are. We're just rocking up into Berry, South Australia. Uh, this is where Kappa Performance is. Haven't been here before. This is my first time. It's just up the road here, I believe. So we'll rock up here, unload it, have a chat to Scotty, see what he wants to do. Set up and see how we go. There it is. It's there. Gap of performance, right? Eh? We'll rock in here, see what we can sort out. Right? Eh? See you in a bit. Alrighty, guys. Just uh, rocked up here, um, and I've just met Scott for the first time. So this is Scott Hardwick. You're the manager of Kappa How Performance. Going? How yeah. are you, mate? Good, good. I'm very excited. <laughs> I'm absolutely stoked to be here. Yeah, have a good drive over. Yeah, yeah. No, it was, uh, it was excellent. Yeah. So, Mark, he's told me you're the guru. Oh, people sort of think I am, but yeah, give it a go. <laughs> mate, any help, <laughs> you've got to be helped. Enough, so yeah, yeah. Guess we're in Beautiful. All right, well, she's all in the trailer, so we might get it off the trailer, let Scotty have a look at what's in it, yep. and rectify all our issues, yep. and we'll go from there. Right, eh? Righty, eh? Scotty's just uh, stuffed around with it, uh, got all these settings he wanted to put in it, make it nice. Seems to be running shit load better. So we're just going to take her in now, and we'll set her up inside. strapped down on the dyno and we're ready to give her its first hit. Let's see what happens. Here we go. First run. A bit nervous. It's not a pull, it's just uh, doing a run and loading up. We've got to run the engine in a bit. So you get up the operating temperature, make sure everything stays on it. Bloody loud in there. 
a bit of a failure. Our uh, braided hose covers come undone. The belt's been wrapping up against it, we're just going to tape that off. And we've skewed a bit of transmission fluid out. Uh, we think it might have been a little bit over full and it's chucked a little bit out on the extractors. Um, but it's alright. We're just letting it cool down and uh, we'll see what it does. So, what do you reckon, Scotty, so far? Yeah, no, it's done a very good job of the build so far. Well, it hasn't fucking dropped anything. No, it hasn't thrown a rod or kicked anything out of bed yet, but... Touch wood. It's gone pretty smooth. All right. Thank you, Mark. did a little pull, quarter throttle pull, just then, and what he got, he got 222 kilowatts. He said, oh, he's, he's just still tuning it, and he thought he just, and it sounded fucking sweet as I tell you when he was doing it. It should come up on the camera, I hope. Um, yeah, so just a quarter throttle pull. Two twenty-two, as you can see, there's a two eight. Is the uh, RPM rep to?
We're not having much luck. We're spewing a fair bit of transmission fluid out. I think it's got a leak in it somewhere now. Uh, I think it's coming out in the bell housing. Uh, Scotty was going to chuck the GoPro under there and give it a rip and uh, see where it's coming from. We're not sure if it's coming from the converter seal or somewhere else or the overflow, but um, we'll uh, see where it's coming from. Alrighty, okay, so we've got a transmission fluid leak. Oh, I've got to investigate that. We're going to pull the pin on it for now. You got you. You're happy where you're at. Yep. No, definitely. As far as the train goes, um, driving and stuff, it should be good to get on the road, get to the drive and run in. And... Now I've got a little request. We're going to see if we can make the idle blip. <laughs> we go. We're going to see if we can get a bit of surge happening in the idle. Is this going to try? If we can, we can. We can't, we can't. But... In gear, is it?
we are done for today anyway so i've got to give a big thank thank no you scotty no dramas at all. Mate, i am absolutely wrapped and if anybody wants anything done ring this guy cap of performance you can talk to him through anything can't you Mate, you, are, you are a legend. I'm so wrapped. I, Mark told me about you because you, everything he said about you has been true. Yep. And this young fella, Declan, thanks for helping out. Appreciate it. Well, there we go. Old Mako's semi done. Good enough to uh, until we get some K's on it. Um, I don't know how many K's I'm going to put on it. We'll see. Might take three or four years. Yeah, fair that. But we'll. Um, We've got the car show coming this week, so we'll knock about in it and do some runs in it, and uh, then we'll get the oil out of it, put some fresh oil in it, and maybe before Christmas time we might come back to see Scotty and power it up before we go to Summer Nats. We'll see how we go. All right. Well, that's probably going to do it for this episode. Uh, appreciate everybody coming along and watching. Um, chuck a comment up and tell us what you think, um, and that's probably going to do. Alrighty, if you haven't subscribed, please jump on and subscribe, hit the bell, share it with your friends, and we'll see you next time. Cheers!